well. Lovely Sunday to you, ladies and gentlemen. Steve and Stephen, peace sign. Collins coming to you from gorgeous San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Really? It was just like Tori. Yeah. In the world. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday today. You can't handle the truth. You remember Jack Nicholson, right? You can't handle the truth. You remember Jack Nicholson? You remember the story of a few good men. What many of you don't know is that the truth is a dude. It's not a concept. Here's how we know this. Because he said it. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. That's what he said. Not me. That's what he said. Not me. That's what he said. He's the truth. The truth is a dude. It's not a concept. And you probably can't handle the truth. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I don't mean to necessarily offend anybody today. What my goal is, is to help create enough discomfort with someone that they might make a very important decision in their life on this fantastic, wonderful, lovely summer day. The truth is a dude. It's not a concept. Okay? And there's a huge difference between being somebody who goes to church and someone who is a Christ follower. Going to church don't make you a Christ follower any more than standing in a garage makes you a Porsche. A Christ follower, a Christian, you probably couldn't handle it. You probably couldn't take it. It's probably why you don't want anything to do with it. Probably why you're avoiding it. Not because you're a bad person, not because you're a mean person, not because you're a highly educated, uh, unbelievably uh, Ivy League trained individual. No, it's because deep down inside, you know this reality. That the life of a Christ follower is a life of brokenness. It's a life many times of pain. It's a life many times of choosing to honor another above you that does not deserve that honor in your mind and in your eyes. It is choosing a life that makes a decision to forgive and give grace when your flesh and your mind and your heart and the world says that revenge is the better decision. It is the life of a person who chooses no longer to fall into the role of the victim saying it's them or nouns, people, places, or things that are prohibiting me from being all I can be. It's the person that says, if it is to be, it is up to me. The acceptance of complete and total personal responsibility for one's life, one's actions, and one's decisions, and one's current circumstances. The life of the Christ follower is very different. It is the life of the faithful. It is the life of the persecuted. It is the life of the misunderstood. It is the life of the taken advantage of. It is the life of the one who chooses to lose temporarily in the eyes of those around them that they might win eternally. It is the person who says the greatest deeds are done before an audience of one and I don't care what anybody thinks however I care what everybody thinks that sounds like a conflict right I don't care what anybody thinks in the sense that you will not influence my decision to do what I feel called to do and I care about what you think in the sense that when you look at me as a proclaimed Christ follower I do not want to give you a reason to say if that's what that life is all about I want nothing to do with it I want you to say, if that's what that life is about, I might ought to look into that. I might ought to consider that. That's looking pretty strong. Hey, Raj, that's my Muslim neighbor who loves me and I love him, y'all. For real. Let me tell you something. You can't handle the truth. Because the truth is not a concept. The truth is a man. Because to be in connection with and related to and infilled with and manifesting the life of this one who gave you and I everything will require immense sacrifice on your part. 
It will require nights of weeping on your pillow. It will require you to get okay with losing in the eyes of those around you that you might win in the eyes of the one who created you. It means making decisions that cause you to delay what you could do quickly in your flesh, what he has divinely appointed for another time in his spirit that it might not fall and break down. It is living the life of one who says, I am no longer my own. I am yours and whatever you want, that's what I'll do. You can't handle the truth or can you? Have a great Sunday, guys.